Hello everyone, my name is Stefan Lekic. In the next couple of minutes I'm going to tell you a little bit about my project for my mobile cloud computing class at Temple University. The idea behind the project is to create a system for controlling a service robot with a mobile Windows phone. There are two primary objectives of this project. The first one is to create a user-friendly graphical command interface on the phone side that represents an intuitive and efficient way for a user to issue basic movement commands to the robot. The second objective is to overcome the location barrier. The user does not necessarily need to be close to the robot in order to connect to it and issue the commands. This project utilizes Microsoft Hawaii Relay Service for communication between a Windows phone or the command post and a service robot or the execution post. This is the high-level overview of the system. On the Windows Phone side, there are several buttons that represent commands for basic robot movements. Forward, back, rotate left, and rotate right. Other commands include stop, toggle gripper, and disconnect. The execution side is represented by a system that consists of a Hawaii Relay client, a robot control client, a robot control server, and a robot controlling module, all running on the robot computer. The Hawaii Relay client is responsible for communication with the phone application and the routing of the commands to the robot control server through the robot control client. To make it a little clearer, let's take a look at the message flow. The message is generated through graphical command interface by user, which is then sent uh, through Hawaii Relay service endpoint to the execution post. Then the command is sent to a command execution client which in, is in constant communication with the execution server. Finally, the execution server is responsible for sending the command to the robot controlling module and the ARIA framework is responsible for executing the command itself. Finally, let's take a look how all this fits together in the demonstration. Let me introduce the execution post. As you can see, I have a little computer running on top of my robot. As I previously mentioned, the purpose of this computer is to connect to the Hawaii Relay Service and to the local execution server that controls the robot drivers. As you can probably see, the interface on this application that is running on the emulator is pretty simple. At this point in time, execution server is up and running and the robot is ready to go. The only thing that is left to do is to hit connect, uh, connect and obtain the endpoint ID from the Hawaii Relay Service and connect to the local robot execution server. After a couple of seconds, the endpoint ID from the relay service is obtained and the local execution client is now connected to the execution server and the robot is now ready to go as soon as the phone application connects. On the Windows Phone side, the user application connects to the Hawaii relay service as soon as it is launched. As you can see from the appropriate message, the endpoint ID has already been obtained. In order to communicate with the correct endpoint, the phone application requires the endpoint ID of the execution post. This is the page where the ID should be entered. Finally, the application is ready to connect to the fading execution post. This is the graphical command interface. The usage is pretty intuitive. It has all the buttons that I've talked about previously. So, let's see the system in action. If I press rotate right a couple of times, you'll notice that the robot is moving. Accordingly, if I rotate left a couple of times, the robot keeps moving. Now let's see the gripper in action. I toggle the gripper and the gripper opens. Toggle it once more. Let's try a couple more. going back, rotating right, a little bit more, And let's see a couple more.
This has been the demonstration of my mobile cloud computing class project. I hope that you enjoyed watching just as much as I enjoyed working on this project. Please feel free to email me at stefan.lekic at temple.edu with any questions or comments. Cheers!